Good morning everybody. Welcome to this week's Vlog with a View. No, we're not in Blackpool today. We're on the beach at Cleveland. That's the full full zoom of my camera. So I'm going to zoom back in and you'll see where we are. That's the end of Cleveland. Sea defence is starting to appear. A bit further in and you can see the shell and the cafe and this morning we're on Russell Beach and this is a this is a filmed live on the day vlog with a view of this and look at the sky it's absolutely beautiful it's just gone 7 30 on Sunday the 30th of August there's not a cloud in the sky so I've, I've come out onto the beach to do you a fresh and perfectly new vlog so if you're new to this, you might be wondering what Vlog With A View is. A lot of people do vlogs on any given subject and they sit at a desk in an office and you'll look at them and they talk about whatever is their given subject that they want to talk about. And you don't really want to be looking at my face. So these vlogs, uh, once a week on a Sunday morning, and it's a subject loosely related to the seaside but filmed from somewhere a lot more interesting than my office looking at my mush so we've already done things like travel sickness that's a funny one if you've not read that and what happens when the internet goes off um, and various other subjects so the, the, the fairly new we published these on a sunday so today's is bank holiday weekends because obviously today is a bank holiday weekend it's august bank holiday weekend and this is the beautiful spectacular russell beach at cleveland it's a bit a bit cool at the moment i've got my gloves on Ta -da! i've got my gloves on and i've got my, my double cardigan on and, and and it all sort of like zipped up um, because it's a bit of a bit of a cool breeze just yet but looking at that sky it's a little bit more cloud that way there's a plane there look can you see it looking at that sky it's gonna be a beautiful beautiful day and obviously the Sun rises in the west no it doesn't it rises in the east here we go left and right again it rises in the east so it's that way at the moment and all the beach is beautifully lit up from the back so you can see the top bit of the beach is still is still um, in the shadow so we're going to walk northwards and we might see something a little bit interesting when we come back because they started doing some site investigations on Russell Beach anyway back to the subject of today's blog bank holiday weekend what do you do when it's a bank holiday weekend are you one of the people who loves to come to the seaside? Do you hate, loathe and detest all the crowds and keep away? And, and turn up on another day when it's a lot, lot quieter? Or do you prefer to stop in your back garden and get some jobs done? I must say that now I live at the seaside, I really like bank holiday weekends. But I spent donkey's years hating, loathing and detesting them. We live in landlocked Yorkshire. So we were right in the middle of the country for many, many years before we moved here. Um, so you've got a choice, really, if you wanted to go to the seaside. You either went east to Scarborough, Whitby, Braid, Cleethorpes, that kind of place. Or you went west. To Blackpool. Can you hear me hesitating to get me east and my west right? So we were, we we used to go to both, but from where we were, the east coast was well, it was an ordeal because you got to um, travel on air roads and just rewind. I've just seen a pretty little shell. I'm just going to pick this up. Are you ready? Pretty little shell alert. Oh, pretty little shell. Tiny little shell. Oh, there's another one there. I could digress for Brayton, couldn't I? I'm picking them up for a reason, to be fair. Yeah, so 
if you went east you went on the A1 and all the side roads so we, we'd got quite a, a journey to even get to the A1 and then you got all the side roads to go around and I can remember one year I think it was Brid that we went to on a bank holiday weekend and I vowed never again in my life would I go out on a bank holiday I've never known anything like it in my life I mean normally it was about a two hour journey from where we lived and this particular time when we went to Brid we must have been three and a half hours getting there and another three and a half hours getting back it was horrendous the traffic was just wall to wall shunting it, oh hello doggy have you brought me your, 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 your loop? do you want me to throw it? do you want me to throw it? come on then there go no oh we're playing tug are we? right I see one tell your dad <laughs> tell your dad go on tell your dad go on I'll tell your dad <laughs> morning <laughs> it is it's lovely um <clears throat> yes yeah, so it was nose to nose traffic absolutely jammed and the weather was like this it was a lovely hot warm sunny bright blue day so we're sat in a car i mean i'm going back quite a while i must be going back about 30 years and you know air conditioning had not been invented <laughs> God, that makes me sound old, doesn't it? <clears throat> so you sat in this sweat box, frying, with all the windows wide open, trying to keep cool because you're not actually moving. And I said, right, that's it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm just not going out again on a bank holiday Monday. So from there onwards, we, we sort of stopped where we lived. So we would perhaps go to a garden centre or... Um, something like that and you know join join all the other hordes looking at the begonias um, and they were always packed so now it's nice to be able to just stop at home and just watch everybody else doing what we used to do for donkey's years <laughs> it gets it gets really busy at Cleveland I mean it's a a much quieter place compared to Blackpool but it gets really busy here so I'm expecting as, as I said it's about a bit about quarter to eight by now um, so I'm expecting later today and certainly tomorrow that it will be it will be busy especially in this weather um, <clears throat> but Blackpool will be heaving I can say that without any Without any hesitation, I am fairly sure Blackpool will be heaving. Oh, look how tall I am. Goodness gracious me, my legs have grown. We're going to go for a, a walk along the edge of the water. Now that we've got past the channels and we know we're not going to get drowned. So we'll follow the tide in. Oh, just listen to that. It's so lovely at this time of the day. It's quiet. There's nobody about, only the dog walkers. And it's lovely just to listen to the water lapping against the edge of the beach. Ah. So I'll give it another two hours and it will be far from quiet and silent like this in Blackpool it will be busy 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 it'll be music and shouting and laughing and kids and rides and amusements and music and all the lovely things that we all love Blackpool for and that's the beauty of this course I mean whether you come for a bank holiday weekend or whether you come just for a couple of hours you can, you can come a little bit away from the centre of Blackpool and you can enjoy all this peace and tranquillity and then you can go back to the centre of Blackpool and you can enjoy the hustle and the bustle and the, the vibrancy of it I always come away from Blackpool feeling alive it makes you feel really 
I don't know. It's difficult to describe. You get that kind of bubble inside. It's, it's a lovely feeling, but I love it here. You know, I'm coming out at this time of the day. You could, I've said it before, but you could just walk and walk and walk. And Blackpool's done exceptionally well in the last few weeks because of the um, staycation rules, as it were, and the, the coronavirus business. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, if you're going to go abroad at the minute, really, you've got to accept that there's a really strong chance that when you come back, you might have to self-isolate for two weeks. So... Why not just stop in Britain? Why not just stop in here and enjoy this beautiful view? You can have a, a bank holiday weekend in a lovely hotel. You can have the cheapest chips, bed and breakfast, and pay buttons for it. Or you can stop somewhere really plush and quite exclusive and pay fortune. It's entirely up to you. There's, there's something to cater for every taste here all the way along the coastline. So what are you going to do this bank holiday weekend? I think speaking for me personally, when I when I get back I'm going to have breakfast number two. I'm going to have a bowl of porridge and a cup of tea. Nice cup of tea. And then I'm going to do some I'm going to do some jobs and do my do my washing and my ironing and my housework. And then this afternoon I think I might do some gardening while everybody's out enjoying the beach. So what are you gonna do? Pop a comment below and let us know what you're doing for your bank holiday weekend. There's another doggy coming to say hello. <laughs> hello doggy. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, I not realised it's you. <laughs> my neighbour. I'm that busy looking at the dog, I've not completely ignored Rick. And then tomorrow morning we'll do we'll do one oh, another thing as well. Don't forget to watch out for the Spitfire fly past. Quarter past eleven over the Vic this morning. And then it's setting off from Blackpool Airport at two o'clock to fly to Lancaster. So with a bit of luck and good management, we might see it coming over this very beach. We shall see. It will be revealed. So don't forget, visit File Coast. Thousands of pages of websites that have all been published for the last, ooh, 10 years plus. These videos are relatively new, so make sure you sign up for your weekly email newsletter. And don't forget to subscribe to Visit File Coast. I've got, I've got a little collection of videos that I made last week, which are ready to be uploaded next week. So if you hit the bell for notifications, you'll find out when all those new ones have been put online. And then next week, I think we might go to Fleetwood. It depends what the weather's doing. Because I've got some Fleetwood films to make. And I've got some more Blackpool films to make but really they need nice weather. So if you subscribe and hit the bell, you'll know when um, they've been uploaded. What a gorgeous morning. I'm gonna, I'm gonna climb over this groin now. It's just a little baby one there, that's it. Um, could just carry on walking. It's lovely. In fact, I don't think I'm gonna carry on walking very far because the tide's coming in beyond this next groin. So actually, yeah, we'll go we'll go up to it. So you'll have a lovely weekend. Enjoy whatever you're doing. Leave your comments below, and then uh, we can have a debate about the best way to spend, spend a bank holiday. And we'll see you soon. You'll take care. Bye.